Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel, my Peace to Love. How you guys doing? And welcome to another perfume recommendation video. So as you've read in the title and seen the thumbnail, this video is all about rose perfumes. So if you're somebody who's looking for rose fragrances, then definitely this video is going to help you a lot. This video, I'm going to show you like 10 perfumes that is my absolute favorite rose fragrances. If you're somebody who loves the rose note in your perfumes, you are going to find something from my recommendations that you will love I'm sure of that because I have curated some of my favorites it has got rose perfumes for all season for the summers winters daytime nighttime fresh rose some deep dark roses so I'm sure you will find something that you will like and yeah let's just get into the video okay another thing I just want to tell you that in this video I'm just going to one by one show, show you all the perfumes talk a little bit about it without going in depth and I'm not going to give you like in detail reviews and not going to go inside the notes and everything just know that these are rose perfumes and I'm just going to say you the difference and when to wear it and what is the type because otherwise we'll be sitting here all day long that's not what this video is about it's not a review video it's a recommendation video so keep that in mind so the first perfume that i will recommend to you guys is my absolute favorite go-to rose fragrances and it is the chloe one this is chloe rose edt and this is oh my god this is my absolute go-to rose fragrances when it comes to like summer heat and it's a fresh rose and let me just put a little bit on to explain you yeah it's a very subtle fresh rose you guys and i absolutely love it it will work great in the summer heat daytime because it's so subtle and it's not overpowering but by no means is it like you're not going to smell it you are going to smell it but it's a very the rose itself the damascus rose that's in this is very subtle and it has got a citrus lemony opening which is why it is perfect for the heat time i feel like the daytime heat because of the citrus the bergamot the lemon and the opening is very fresh so i would just explain this one as a citrusy fresh citrus mixed with rose so it's a lemony fresh rose and it's very sparkling very subtle very bubbly and yeah you're just going to love this one if you want if you are looking for a very subtle sophisticated clean smelling rose the next perfume perfect again for the daytime summer is this one right here this is the joe malone rose blush as you can see the packaging itself is very like daytime fresh bubbly feminine and i love the packaging guys so pretty and pink and this again is a fresh rose you guys this is straight up rose if you are familiar with this house joe malone they give you what they claim like if it's like they just give the ingredients and that's what it smells like it reads like uh wood sage and sea salt and vanilla or whatever it's it's the name itself is the fragrance so that is their usp and this Again, it's a very pinky rose, like a pink carnation. It's not your red, deep, jammy rose, none of that. But it's more like a pink rose, maybe mixed with peony, something very daytime, dainty. Like you're wearing a pink dress and you're putting this on. It's perfect for that girly. If you're going out with your girlfriends, it's very delicate, feminine, fresh. This is that type. So this definitely has that pink rose in it. Makes a little bit of lychee sweetness and it has got a green note. Like I get some sort of greenness to it but it's a very fresh, feminine, again very long lasting even though it's a cologne, very long lasting summer rose fragrance. Next fragrance is this one right here. This is the Mon Guerlain bloom of rose this is one of the long lasting fragrances you guys i absolutely love this one as you can see how much i've used it and this one again is so so fresh and it's 
little bit of the green note is there in this one too now this one again is a fresh rose definitely for the daytime but this has got lavender in it and it has got citrus in the opening it has got vanilla sandalwood in at its base it has got a bit of jasmine going on so this gives that heaviness you guys rose is the main hero but it has got well blended lavender citruses and jasmine in it so it's a very good quality well blended rose you guys it is expensive but it's super long lasting and again this is for the daytime summer long lasting fresh fresh rose and it's one of my favorites i also have a detailed review on the moon girl on rose so if you want to check that click on that link right there and yeah you can see the detailed review of this one now transiting from the daytime to the evening time this is somewhere in the middle like it's not a completely nighttime fragrance but somewhere in the middle you can do it for formal and non-formal occasions oh my god you guys this is first of all look at the packaging this is bulgari's rose gold dia and i love the packaging on this one this is a very different take on rose they have got damascus rose and bulgarian rose a couple of rows mixed with peony peony adds such a freshness to the to the usual rose waterly smelling thing peony just adds freshness to the rose rose can be a little heavy but peony in this perfume adds that light airy breezy sparklingness to it plus it has got citrus and pomegranate in the opening which gives it a very sparkling it's like a rose drink you guys a rose cocktail but you know done in such a beautiful modern way rose perfumes can be a little dated if you are not familiar with it and you don't do it carefully it can be a little overwhelming and it can be a little dated but this one is so well done it's a modern take on rose again it's perfect for daytime evening time not necessarily night time but of course you can wear it anytime you want but i would wear it definitely for like sunset on formal bubbly lunch type of occasions and again it's fresh it is rose peony sparkling citrus pomegranate it has got sweetness very long lasting and yeah absolutely stunning the next perfume you guys is okay this is the one this is isi miyake's rose and roses and oh my god this is such a unique take on rose you guys it's mixed with some fruits like fruits and rose combination is the best combination ever i feel like it has got pink pepper raspberry in the opening oh my god so so sweet it's a beautifully well blended one you guys definitely i would tell you check this out put get your nose on this one it's an absolute beauty in the opening you have got some fruits going on like raspberry pear mixed with pink pepper giving it slightly spiciness and the bulgarian rose you guys this is an absolute beauty of a rose it's one of my favorites it's so so stunning very good projection very very like it's not very fresh at the same time it's not very heavy it's a beautiful in between but if you are a fruity floral person definitely this one it's sweet it's jammy it's a beautiful modern take on rose again and the packaging need i say is beautiful you see miyake's rose and roses is definitely in my top five perfumes like overall next i have two rose fragrances from the house of narciso rodriguez if you're familiar with these you will know narciso rodriguez make, makes the best musk fragrances so obviously these are musk is the hero but musk is more like the underlying statement in these two perfumes it's like a rosy musk fragrance but in such a different way that you can own both and smell completely unique and you can have both in your collection for different different reasons so the first one is this one this is a very okay let me just spray some oh my god you guys 
it's an absolute stunner this is like a pink pepper mixed with musk and it has got again some freshness to it because of citrus and it has got some freshness to it because of peony again it's a beautiful peony musk rose fragrance straight up again daytime appropriate evenings and look at the packaging it's so beautiful it's this smells like it looks it's a pink color bottle and it just smells also pink okay it has got a little bit of pink pepper in the opening and rest of it is rose mixed with peony and white musk absolutely stunning and very very long lasting you guys whereas this one this is a newer launch most people are loving this on the internet and for a reason now this one oh my god girl this is a perfect nighttime winter winter summer anything but very nighttime because this is a very heavy fragrance this is like a jammy deep dark rose again you can see the packaging and the juice inside is so like dark and it has got like a very dark pink type of a juice inside and looking at the packaging only you can see it's a heavy perfume it's deep jammy rose mixed with plum and pink pepper and it's so beautiful you guys you have to try this one again this is my top top recommendation when it comes to heavy rose perfumes and so sexy for nighttime like it's a definite definite compliment getter if you are not a fan of rose also i would tell you to try this one out this is the most unique narcissa rodriguez i feel like because narcissa rodriguez ka musts are very powdery and similar smelling this completely deviates from it and this is i think the intense version so definitely try this one you guys if you want compliments if you want to smell sexy if you're a rose lover obviously you're going to love it but even if you're not i will definitely tell you to try this one out it's a beautiful jammy deep dark sexy nighttime perfume and it's a stunning stunning one I hope you guys are not bored but stay with me because the last I saved the best for the last so this is another perfume I love this is from the Kayali Kayali sweet diamond pink pepper and this perfume is expensive for a reason it costs for 10000 rupees i think but it's worth your money it's the most intense smelling kali perfumes kali perfumes don't last very long but this one does and when you spray this your entire room is going to smell of this and when you walk in and you're going to get noticed this is a head turner you guys it's an absolute <clears throat> okay let me just tell you it has got may rose bulgarian rose damascus rose one of the most expensive roses in the world is used in this juice and when you smell you will know if you are a rose perfume lover you will definitely like this one it has got a middle east twist to it and when you will smell you will know this is something unique and this is completely night time deep dark again because it has got a lot of different different types of rose blended in it has to be like deep dark rich rich perfume it has got pink pepper of course going by the name let me just spray some on me and make it the scent of my day oh my god you guys it has got a deep scent of saffron it's like saffron mixed with may rose bulgarian rose pink pepper and it has got the jamminess the saffron is so distinct which is why i think it's leaning a little middle east onwards the saffron is making it smell a little bit like middle eastern i think it does not have oud but it gives a feeling as if it has got oud but it does not have it has got amber sandalwood at its base and it's a beautiful fragrance you guys i absolutely love it if you're somebody who are who is looking for a sexy nighttime perfume and you want to smell sexy and you want attention grab this one you guys rose lovers this is the way to go lastly i have saved my favorite 
rose perfume or perfume you can just say this is my top three four perfumes in my entire collection i have a pretty big collection you guys so this is my best top recommendation for rose lovers this is lancome treasure midnight rose and oh my god you guys this is everything i love in a perfume it is sweet it is sexy it is long lasting this i'm i kid you not you can smell from one kilometer away like the other day my mom was wearing and i could smell her from another she just passed by and that entire hall was smelling like this you guys i'm not even kidding you this is that perfume it's a beautiful mix of fruits and roses again it is a sweet sweet rose again for night time and it's heavy you just need like one and two sprays and that's it that is it you guys and everyone can smell you like you walk into a party people are going to smell you this is that perfume and it has got all the ingredients that blends well with rose so it has got pink pepper peony raspberry bergamot rose everything so well blended vanilla jasmine and i don't know what they did with this but this is so so long lasting it lasts for days in my clothes and it's worth every penny you guys if you are a rose lover or even otherwise if you want a very long lasting perfume check out lancome's midnight rose you are not going to be disappointed and i don't know if anyone will smell this and not fall in love with this it's a definite definite compliment getter and it's my favorite perfume ask me to recommend you one perfume that you should should you can just blind by this one and i'm not even kidding you guys this is the one i will recommend you this one if you want to buy one from all the ones i recommended this is the one it's heavy night time yeah definitely you cannot wear this in the daytime because it's too intense and it's too sweet but in a good way you guys sweet in a matured way and it's an absolutely stunning perfume and if you're somebody who has been following my channel and you like my recommendations, please, please go and try this one out. Rose lover or not, you are going to like this. I guarantee you. Okay? That's a big claim. So that is it you guys. Those were all my rose perfumes. My favorite go-to rose perfumes for different, different time of the day and season. I hope you have liked it. Please, if you did like this video, if you want to see more perfume reviews and otherwise also makeup reviews, definitely hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button and I'll see you guys next time. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.